It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll have a rematch of Super Bowl 54. It's the Chiefs and the 49ers under the lights on Thursday night. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Tonight, on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. kicker Harrison Butker ready to get this one started and we are underway from Santa Clara returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback so here's the first drive now for the 49ers they'll be led out by Mr. Irrelevant in the 2022 draft a guy with something to prove Iowa State's career passing leader and that's Brock Purdy for every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he finds some space. Pass the 25 to the 27. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. down this is McCaffrey and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here second down well any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage they used great leverage held their spot and stacked him up on second down McCaffrey and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. That's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. This time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. And his 
throw is going to be incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Back deep is Kadarius Tony, And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And fantastic field position has them just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line of the red zone. Was hoping to make a play there on the return with his speed. Instead, he makes a play for the other side. Yeah, and how many times have we heard coaches say, you know, sometimes it's not really about those X's and O's we draw up. It's about those Jimmys and Joes. <laughs> and when you have a punt returner, he's one of those Jimmys and Joes, one of the best athletes. He's unable to make the play that they were seeking, though. Now a first and 10 at the 11. There's Purdy on first and 10. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to get with the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. The KC offense set to go, led as always, by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This one, and he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. Well, my friend, this has certainly been a comedy of errors here in the first quarter. Neither side able to really hang on to the ball. Yeah, now I'm just curious to see which team can adjust because both have made their mistakes, as you said. Yeah, and whoever can do that can seize firm control of this game. Something they haven't done with the ball so far. Out on the field now. Here come the 49ers. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack. It takes it down. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. No score after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Second and goal from inside the five. McCaffrey will score. Touchdown, 49ers. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front. Offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Seven to nothing lead. Scoring summary. Three play drive. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. 
And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. That's certainly a good to do a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get up field and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first but he only makes it to the 34. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. And they were able to get him down and force the punt. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field, things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. Seven to nothing leads. They don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, seven nothing ball game. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Back to throw, Purdy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. Here comes Tony on the return. Now a hit and a loose football. And that's what friends are for. <laughs> right? As, <laughs> as the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turn it over there, that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Mahomes to throw. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and now this is scooped up by the 49ers. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Now here's
There's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Man open. That's Debo Samuel. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first down, Purdy. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sass. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they, a dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This from 54 yards away. And the kick is good. He needed a little help there from the crossbar, but the carom goes his way. And that will extend their lead even further. So a favorable bounce that time, to say the least, and he's able to convert the field goal there from a long distance. Yeah, the guys behind the end zone didn't need to hike the net up for this one. That thing was a dying quail, but he finds a way to boink it off the crossbar and make it drop through. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports halftime report. First, though, a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for Kansas City. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. On first down, Mahomes. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. 
Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. They did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. Short completion, just four yards. And it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. And now a fumble. The ball's out. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on him. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. So they recover their own fumble. Now they face third and short. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for first down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Looking deep for Jennings. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Second and ten here as we roll along in quarter number three from Santa Clara. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, there were about 70,000 that were quickly calling for the flag. It comes out there for pass interference. What do you think, partner? A little sarcasm in that cheering from this crowd here tonight. What they're hoping now is to build a little momentum off of it and give them a more genuine reason to cheer down the road. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Niners are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. And of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, 
can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Goal to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's Debo Samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. And a loose football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. Inside the 20. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49ers. Touchdown. The pass receiver turned into a runner, then he turned into a fumbler, and it goes the other way for six. I love your description. Although for the offense, they're not too happy about it. But for the defense, what a big time play for them. Never give up on anything. Sometimes you create your own points. But the receiver, hard to fault him. He's just going for extra yard. That's exactly what you're supposed to do, but you have to take care of the football. Now gold for the extra boy. And the lead is now 24. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Taken at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. At this point, partner, things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. I just what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny, I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of had this scenario, like, what feels good to you and what feels good to your team? You're down big, you really have, like, one possession left, and you're trying to put points on the board that don't matter, but do they? And he told me they actually do matter. And in this situation, he's going to try and run the best offense he can run and have at least a little bit of confidence to take away from that game. So right now, they're going to try their best to get something up on the board and not get shut out. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Second down, McKinnon. Shifts past him at the 45. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Yellow, yellow. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Screenplay, McKinnon. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Throwing his Mahomes on third. He's Now the ball comes loose, and his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here, and now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. 
And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. This is caught, and in for the Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McCammon, 26 yards. And the Chiefs are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the 49er hands team does its job. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did, indeed. I think we're down to none. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. And he's going to use his legs here. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. It's a pickup of five, and that should just about wrap this one up. And there's your dagger right there. I tell you, there's a lot of coaches in the league that would not have gone for it on fourth down. But with a two-score lead, they roll the dice, get the first down, and that should be enough to salt this one away. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. The credit the tackle to Juan Thornhill. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. So the victory here for San Francisco, and I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter 
and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural. Yeah, but, yeah, I, but, but I I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like the best player of all yeah. of that. And I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people.